What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Nusantara project version 5.5 Tarkan based on Android 13 and this is that 19th February 2023 build. It comes with GFs and vanilla variants both. I have of course flashed the GFs included variant and links will be present in the description if you want to flash this ROM on your device. In the about section, this is how it looks like we have the Nusantara version right here and if you click on it, it you will get a pop-up like this which will actually show you the Nusantara project logo up top and the version shows up as 5.5. You can see the build date and the version details and here we have the maintainer as Aradhya and we have the Android version as 13. By the way, the wallpaper that I have been using is from the Fresh Walls app, I'll link it below. But yeah, overall, we have these Android 13 easter eggs over here. Let me go back, we have the security patch as latest of February 5th, 2023. The stock kernel here is the 4.14 Soviet star kernel. This Linux status shows up as enforcing. And if I show you the system settings, this is how it looks like. We do not have a system updater, but we do have the gesture settings. Quickly open camera and stuff, and you can use it. As you can see, let me just do that. Yeah, it is showing up the pop-up of the camera if I double press the power button. So quickly open camera is working fine. In the system navigation gestures, we have the swipe to invoke assistant. That should be working fine. We have this left edge, right edge customization and even the pill length you can customize but there is no thickness customization for the pill bar. Let me go back. We have the three button navigations over here and the one handed mode is also working perfectly fine. And we have this double tap to check phone, press and hold power button action and you can change this to power menu or assistant. And we have this disable power menu on lock screen for security. In the front camera settings, we have the sound effects but I have change it to disabled and we have the camera LED customization too if you want to do that. Now let's talk about the home screen. This is how it looks like we get a Nusantara launcher I guess by default. Let me show you as you can see Nusantara launcher and here we have the MISC settings in this we have the parallel space use taskbar allow home screen rotation in the recents we have the background opacity changing option in the screenshot lens and clear all option then we have the app drawer customization themed icons icon labels in drawer and the row height background opacity etc you can customize for the app drawer then we have the home screen settings but here I'm kind of disappointed because I do not see the double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen. For some reason, I think it has been removed and we have the Google search bar themed icons and the corner radius and we have these customizations that you are noticing. We also have the wallpaper scrolling and zooming, but then again, no double tap to sleep in the blank area of the home screen. But of course, double tap to sleep is there on the status bar, no issues. In the icons, we have the icon pack and the notification dots and the icon size, font size, etc. customizations. And these are the stock apps present by default on this ROM, but the Pixart and the Fresh Walls was downloaded because I was restoring my Google App Data Backup, except for these two, all other are the stock apps of this particular ROM. And the widgets are working fine, like the Android 13 clock widget and stuff, and the animations for it is working fine. And this is the weather widget that I have added. But let me tell you actually, the battery widget I could not simply find over here. To the left of the home screen, we get the Google's Discover page. They are pretty smooth. By the way, the whole UI is running at 60 Hz. There is no display overclocking options like the 72 Hz, 81 Hz, 102 Hz, etc. All those things are simply missing, which you do get in the Evolution X ROM, by the way. Swiping up will get you to the app drawer and this is how it looks like. Everything is smooth enough, I would say. And swiping down will get you to the quick setting panel. Now everywhere you will see this blur background blurry kind of effect because I have customized it that way. Even in the settings, you will see that background blur from the wallpaper. It will look even like more precise in the dark theme. Let me actually show you in that. And this is how it looks like in the dark theme. You will see the background is that blurry frosted kind of effect. So yeah, this is how it looks like. Definitely in the light theme too, it looks good. In my opinion, this frosted glass kind of effect definitely looks beautiful. Right now, let me talk about the quick setting panel. This is how it looks like. Sometimes the brightness becomes a little weird. As you can see, this is right now at full brightness, but yeah, I feel this is a little bit lower in terms of the brightness in my frank opinion. So sometimes the brightness panel or the brightness slider becomes a little bit glitchy in this round that I've noticed, but with the DC being turned off, it's fine. As you can see, with the DC being turned off, it goes really, really bright. But with the DC being turned on, it goes a little bit weird. As you can see right now, the display is not going to the full brightness. This is what I have noticed. But otherwise, in terms of the quick toggles and stuff, this is how it looks like. We have the power menu toggle on the bottom and we have the advanced reboot enabled. That's why you can directly reboot to the recovery or fast boot from right here. Let me go back and we have the Wi-Fi toggle, the mobile data, Bluetooth toggle and stuff, flashlight, dark theme, auto rate, night light and the screen recording. And for the screen recording, we do not have HEVC, but we do have the device audio and microphone audio recording at the same time. And next one, we have the battery saver, do not disturb Google Home controls, data saver, hotspot, nearby share and the heads up toggle. Then we have the screencast, we have the airplane mode, one handed mode, DC dimming and the high brightness mode. So that's pretty much it. That's the toggles you can add. 
but yes you can edit and add even more toggles if you want from these options now let's talk about the stock camera of course the stock camera over here is the MIUI camera that you will get and this is great that the MIUI camera is working perfectly fine there is the 0.66x or the ultra wide angle lens and the lens switching is working perfectly fine no issues whatsoever while switching the lenses over here and even the portrait mode let me actually switch to the front camera and as you can see it is working perfectly fine you should not worry about the front camera and stuff over here and in the video settings let me actually go into it we have the 1080p 30fps video for the front camera and for the rear camera we do get up to 4k 60fps option even in the pro mode you will get these like wide balance focus shutter speed iso etc customization and with that you will get 4k 60fps video shooting option and that's up to you can also go with the 1080p 60fps and stuff if you want and here let me actually swipe up so that you can see and here you will get the documents mode and stuff but you have to download these stuff like the vlog mode the documents mode sticker avatars and the clone and stuff everything is there but you have to download these things and yes there is a documents mode let me just scan one quickly so i just clicked a photo and as you can see in the documents mode it did save the picture let me actually open it and yeah the documents mode is actually working fine you should not worry about it also the slow motion and stuff is there and you can go with 1080p 960 fps slow motion and it is working fine it is not freezing the camera or something and the vlog mode is there and you can customize these vlog mode settings and you don't have to download any of them once you download the vlog mode it will work perfectly fine also there is the sticker avatars and stuff if you want to use those so if i choose this one yeah it is working perfectly fine so no issues whatsoever with the sticker avatars and stuff you can use them if you want before i show you the customizations let me show you the basic things of the rom so safety net does pass over here right out of the box so you should not worry about the banking apps on this rom and in terms of drm info it does have the l1 certification so you can stream netflix or amazon prime videos in 1080p and in terms of google photos it does have google photos unlimited backup so you should not worry about it now let's talk about the customizations those are there in this nusantara wings and this panel is really good we have the customizations right here and the about and system settings right here in the nusantara wings this is how it looks like the customization panel first we get the game space and in here you can add any game that you would like in the theme section we have these theming settings and we have this theme style and you can choose from these and we have this color source changing option too and if you scroll down we have this luminance chroma and the tint background option and in the home page settings you can actually customize that to default usb grid and grid list and we have this nusantara blur style this is what i have been using for this background blur over here which has the wallpaper blurry effect in the background the frosted glass kind of effect you can increase or decrease the effect by customizing this blur radius and the scale let me go back we have the system theme and over here we have the dark usb pure black and the nusantara clear themes pure black is the pitch black option and here if you scroll down more we have the icon shapes and you can choose from these icon shapes and the wi-fi icon styles are also there you can customize it and we have the signal icon styles as well and there are plethora of options again and we have the nav bar styles too you can change it if you're using three button navigations and the dynamic status bar option is there i don't know how it actually works but yeah these customizations are there in the notification panel we have this annoying notification make heads up less annoying reticker and the blink flashlight for incoming call then the blink flashlight for notification and options and we have the mesh settings we have the unlock higher fps in games volume control swipe to take screenshot and stuff is there and it is working fine you have the share edit and delete option but there is also the capture mode feature and stuff if you are in a lot of scrolling area it should appear double tap to sleep on the lock screen and status bar both are working fine here next let's move on to the lock screen settings and in here we have the lock screen items height quick setting in secure lock screen then the lock screen charging info media cover art and stuff is there now in the fingerprint preference this is really interesting we get these many fingerprint scanner icons we have this nusantara icon as well then we have a lot more icons but yeah the options are not too much let me go back we have the animations now in here we'll get the nusantara project animation i'm using this one from the beginning and it definitely looks awesome to me but yeah we have these fingerprint scanner animations over here you can customize that and in the status bar we have the battery options we have the left battery text battery style you can choose from these many options there is the style a b c and this landscape and stuff so yeah all these things are working fine we have the circle battery icons too and we have this battery percentage you can have it inside or outside the icon and we have the battery bar and you can customize it however you want let me go back to the clock options in here of course you can customize the clock and there is a date format and style but there is no clock background chip which is there in some roms but yeah overall you can actually customize the status bar clock if you want 
and in the icon manager we have this tuner of the status bar we have this headset bluetooth etc vaulty kind of icons and of course if you insert a vault sim it should be working fine and we have the combined signal icons no center logo and we have this use old mobile data style icon and the 4g icon and stuff instead of lte and we have the quick setting customization we have the dual tone for the quick setting and the tint and you can customize this one and we have this clear all button for the notifications if you scroll down more we have the data usage showing up option and the brightness slider position you can actually change it to top or bottom and we have the show brightness slider in quick quick setting panel and the adaptive brightness so all these customizations are present in the traffic indicators of course you can enable it but i use a separate app for this so i have been using that and next one in the hardware we have the buttons here we have the toggle flashlight again for the lock screen and the per app volume control and stuff then in the navigations we have the snap bar toggle and we have this system navigation gesture settings again so that's pretty much all the customizations which are present in this room now let's move on to the battery settings on the bottom here we do get the battery temperature but there is no charging cycle seeing option or there is no battery current capacity design capacity all those things are simply missing we only get to see the battery temperature the battery life that i have been getting on this room is just awesome here you can see i have been getting about eight hours plus of screen on time which is again really good and in my opinion this is one of the best battery lives that you will get of course the display is running at 60 hertz that's why you are getting more battery life but yeah overall the battery life is really good the screen off or the standby time you can see is about eight days and the combined use shows as four days so really good battery life in my opinion and in the health section for me my battery health shows as 96 percent by the way i have a new battery that's why my battery health is that good but otherwise if you have a really old battery too it should give you about six hours of screen on time and the fast charging is working fine here you should not worry about that in the sound and vibration settings this is how it looks like we have this media called ring etc volume controls and of course you have the vibration and haptic customization too from here and if you scroll down more we have this dial per tone screen locking charging sound and the touch sound etc and we have this dirac and if you want to enable it you definitely can and from here you can choose the youth edition and stuff and the sound quality with the headphone jack the blue headset everything is fine and you can change the presets as well and we have this enable hi-fi option too if you have a really great pair of headphones you can definitely use this one and the volume panel actually looks like this you can expand the volume panel like this and if okay so if you tap here it somehow opens this sound and vibration then you, if you click done it will show you the media output changing option but yeah it actually works so no issues whatsoever and you can put the phone into vibrant or silent from right here in the display settings we have the brightness level adaptive brightness in the lock screen we have this privacy kind of controls and if you scroll down more we have this show device control and control from lock device that's for the google home controls and the double line clock and stuff always show time and info is the always on display and we have the screen of udfps that's the screen of fod and we have the wake screen for notification now here if you scroll down we have the dark theme and you can schedule it from right here and if you scroll down more we have the colors you can change it to boosted saturated adaptive you can also have the rgb control of the screen we have this prevent accidental wake up and in the ambient display we do have this pickup option if you want to enable that you can and in the custom settings we have the dc dimming and the high brightness mode so in the settings we only get the wallpaper but the wallpaper and styles is here if you tap on it we have the change wallpaper section and this is the default wallpaper of the snow center rom i don't really like it so i have changed the wallpaper from the fresh walls app i listed below in the description by the way we have the dark theme over here too then the themed icons and stuff you can change from right here then we have the app grid and you can change it up to 6 by 10 and we have the system fonts changing option again over here you can choose it from right here in the security settings and the settings option there is no quick unlock but i think quick unlock is enabled by default in the more settings we do have the app lock and let me show you from here in the product apps you do have the google photos option so you can lock these particular apps like google photos and here we have the redact notification and the hide from launcher options too let me go back we have the face unlock over here let me just set it up and you can select this too when swiping up on lock screen for the face unlock and right now let me show you the locking and unlocking speed for that i'll just double tap to sleep and i have the always on display disabled and right now i just put the device on the desk i'll test the pickup option over here so if i just pick it up on my hand and as you can see pickup gesture is working perfectly now if i show you the fingerprint scan speed up close this is how it looks like from the screen of a 40 and let me show you from the lock screen here if i just tap the fingerprint scanner as you can see the brightness increases but yeah it unlocks perfectly fine and the animation definitely i am liking over here and the fingerprint scanner speed here is really blazing fast let me show you as you can see it has unlocked so yeah everywhere the animation and the speed of the fingerprint scanner unlocking is just blazing fast 
and here let me show you the face unlock and i have to swipe up for that and point the device towards my face and it unlocks let me show you one more time it shows recognizing face and pulls out the front camera and as you can see it is unlocked the app lock this is how it looks like and if i just tap the wingmate scanner as you can see it goes to the particular app where i was the app is unlocked now let's talk about the normal daily driving performance well i would say it is decent but yes there is the 60 hertz refresh rate only for the display there is no overclocking option and over here if you want to see the scrolling and stuff yes the scrolling with 60 hertz it's fine but if you do come from other roms like evolution x or something you will definitely notice the refresh rate is slower and it will feel a little bit sluggish in 60 hertz to be honest and here are the android and geekbench score of this particular rom with a cpu stress test now on the cpu stress test you will see there are certain amount of spikes in the performance of this rom which is a little weird but yeah overall performance is good enough so that's how I feel about this Nusantara ROM and the customizations are decent but not as much as the Evolution X ROM I feel. We have the MIUI camera and stuff over here, you do not need to worry about the cameras. You can also install Gcam or something if you want, I'll list it below in the description. This is a really good Gcam. In the comments let me know that if you liked it or not, give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends if you want them to know about the latest Nusantara project version 5.5 .5 on the Redmi K20 Pro and how it's working. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KD and Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.